Star Trek, The Next Generation. I enjoy science fiction, and that is a great show. Welcome to A Few Moments with Barry. However, in the first season of Star Trek, The Next Generation, there was a questionable episode called Justice. The Enterprise discovers an M-class, which means suitable for human life, planet. The away team discovers a beautiful oasis. One of them even says it is like Eden. They are just a simple people. They have a few rules and one punishment for breaking any rule, death. Does that sound familiar? A crew member, Wesley, accidentally crushed some flowery plants in uh, a restricted area. Some plants are <laughs> trees. Violation equals death. Sound familiar? There is a being, or actually more of a plurality of beings who watches over this world. This is their God. And he's able to be part of their reality while being in another dimension. He even visited their world once. Does this sound familiar? Simple rules. A world like Eden. Violation means death. Is this how skeptics view the Bible story and the God of the Bible? Wesley, the crew member who violated the law, accidentally did not die. Captain Picard merely whisks him away using the power of the Enterprise. And if there is a redeeming scene, while he was being whisked away, Will Riker pleads to the God, maybe justice isn't as simple as a rule book. The Bible story is not about a God who just destroys anyone and everyone at the moment that a law is broken. It does include scenes like that. But God cannot allow us to escape through use of power and reasoning, except for when it is God being the force and his foolish, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, reasoning. The Jesus narrative is what makes Christianity unique. God became flesh, John 1, 14, and takes away the sin of the world, John 1, 29, as a lamb sacrificed. Such a plan was and is against human reason. Such a foolish idea allowed the power of evil to overtake and destroy the Son of God. That is, until the power of God resurrected Jesus, as was the plan all along. This allows us to re-enter Eden. This is what makes the God of the Bible, our God, greater than all the gods of fiction. This has been a few moments with Perry. If you have uh, benefited from this, please like, please share. Feel free to, to leave a comment. Thank you very much.